When it comes to AI image making, Midjourney reigns supreme. But does Midjourney have some competition? Meet Blue Willow. In this video, we'll look at how Blue Willow works and the images it produces. You'll see why Blue Willow is being compared to Midjourney and if it can run with the big boys. Hey. If you're a Midjourney user, Blue Willow is going to feel very familiar. To get started, go to Blue Willow AI and join the beta. Accept the invite and go to Discord. Blue Willow is an AI image generator and it looks surprisingly like Midjourney. Both Blue Willow and Midjourney work through Discord. Currently, Midjourney has just passed 10 million users, and Blue Willow is sitting about 200,000. Join the chat rooms, take part in the discussions, and immerse yourself in a daily theme. If you're not paying attention, it's very easy to forget you're not on Midjourney. To make an image in Blue Willow, go to a rookie or a branch channel. Type slash imagine in the message bar and enter what you want to see. Just like Midjourney, Blue Willow returns a grid of four images. Your images will show up at the bottom of the feed, usually within a minute. Like with Midjourney, it can be sometimes difficult to find your creations. Go to the inbox in the top right hand corner of your screen and click the jump button to find your images. You can upscale images from the grid or make variations. You can even re-roll if you don't like the results. The user interface for Midjourney and Blue Willow are very similar, but what about the results? I put some of the same prompts through both AI image generators. Let's look at the results. Sometimes Blue Willow looks a little more like Stable Diffusion. This isn't surprising. The developers appear to use Stable Diffusion as the basis. Like Stable Diffusion, Blue Willow is more likely to cut off the top of the body and show a little bit more skin. The aesthetic is more game-like, while Midjourney looks more artistic. Both AI image generators can tap into artistic styles and knows the work of many artists, including photographers. Both can make realistic photos. Midjourney images may be a bit more artistic and less susceptible to AI distortions. Blue Willow can sometimes struggle with artistry and detail, and Blue Willow seems to have a more limited vocabulary. It looks like Blue Willow gave up on the styling and lighting description in the middle of this prompt. You can ask for a portrait or landscape aspect ratio in both image generators by prompting dash dash AR or dash dash aspect. Prompting nonsense words gives you a look at the innate styling of each AI image generator. Both Midjourney and Blue Willow interpreted this nonsense word as a flower and tried for a shade of blue. The Blue Willow images are simpler and more realistic, but they are less artistic. Overall, Blue Willow compares pretty well with Midjourney. With the right prompts, you can get beautiful images in both image generators. Blue Willow seems younger than the more advanced Midjourney with a more limited vocabulary, but most images come out just fine. Blue Willow seems to combine the styling of multiple AI models, including various models based on stable diffusion. The developers specifically say they don't include Midjourney's model, so you wouldn't expect the images to have the same style. We've looked at how the two image generators are similar, Let's turn our attention to how they differ. One thing that's different is Blue Willow doesn't have the additional upscale options that you see in Midjourney, but there's really no need. Blue Willow upscales to the maximum 2048 pixels on the short side. Midjourney's first upscale only takes you to 1024 pixels. Upgrading to 2048 pixels in Midjourney requires you to take another step and the details of the image might change. Blue Willow and Midjourney handle questionable prompts differently. Blue Willow doesn't ban words like Midjourney does, it simply removes the offending words and runs the prompt anyway. A big difference between the two image generators is that Blue Willow is free, at least for now. You'll get 25 free image prompts in Midjourney, but then you'll have to subscribe. It's likely that Blue Willow will move to a subscription model at some point, but for now, take advantage of the free image generations. Blue Willow works like Midjourney and can create beautiful images with a unique twist, but Blue Willow does have a few limitations. As of right now, Blue Willow doesn't appear to take parameters other than aspect ratio. Blue Willow won't give you an error, but it also seems to ignore instructions like seed, stylize, and chaos. Also, there doesn't seem to be a way to get the seed used to create the images in Blue Willow. Where you really start to see the cracks between the two image generators is with image to image generation. Blue Willow struggles with images used as part of the prompt, and it can't blend images like Midjourney does. Blue Willow doesn't seem to accept multi-prompts and waiting. 
Again, you won't get an error, but the results just won't show any evidence of waiting. But the biggest limitation right now is image organization. You don't really appreciate Midjourney's gallery until you don't have it. As yet, Blue Willow doesn't have a way to see your images all in one place. You can see the images you've made by going to your inbox, but if you make a lot of images, you're going to struggle to find ones you've made previously. Blue Willow recently opened the ability to invite the bot to your own server, but the ability is limited and the places were all gone by the time I tried to invite the bot to my server. It's best to download the images directly from Discord, but saving your images doesn't save your prompts or job ID number in the title. This makes it difficult to get back to an earlier job or to remember what your prompt was to make this image. There's a lot to like about Blue Willow, but the results can be inconsistent. Sometimes amazing, sometimes just odd. It's a little unclear how the AI image generator works. And the founders of Blue Willow are anonymous, which does give me pause. I wonder why. The Midjourney community is very open and the founder is very visible. Go ahead and try out Blue Willow for yourself and let us know your impressions in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.